back everybody to DayZ in Minecraft. We're back on the Infected RPG DayZ server. Uh, I know it's been like about like a few weeks now since I last uploaded uh, the DayZ series. Um, and that's just simply because I was in the middle of college exams and I had to kind of like stop doing videos to study and things like that. So we're finally back with it. I did not end the series. Wasn't my plan to end the series at all. And uh, the best thing is we're going to start off with our kit Alex and we're going to do our spawn and get the heck out of here. I think is, is it just spawn? Is it is it spawn? There it is. All right, cool. So uh, we're just going to start surviving again. We're going to try to go and explore this world. And uh, I kind of want to make a base, but that's probably going to be in the next episode. I'm also going to throw throw most of the stuff away that I don't need. Cure, scissors, and toxic fumes and all this stuff. We're just going to throw that away. We're going to keep the cure and a gas mask. Honestly, that's pretty cool. We'll actually put that on. Does it, like, actually change anything by any chance? Wait, why can't we put it on? What's going on here? Can we not put on a gas mask? There we go. All right, that looks pretty cool. And let's use our kit, Alex, in and see how that looks as well. And if you guys want to see more Daisy, make sure to hit that like button. Let's go see if we can reach 100 likes. And I have a few things we're going to talk about in today's episode as well. That's not just going to be about uh, Daisy, but it's also going to be about other things I have in mind and plans for the future. But check this out, guys. This looks pretty cool as a kit already. I'm really happy with this. And it's not as OP. I know a lot of you guys were, were um, talking about that in the past few episodes. That this kit is not entirely very OP. So it's, it's pretty much kind of just what I need to start off and just continue to survive. So I'm really happy with it, and we're just going to continue. So I think I'm going to keep one uh, gun on the side over there, and we're going to go see what we can find. Uh, but today we're going to talk about a few things, like, for example, uh, Fear the Crown Dead roleplay, uh, plans with the channel, and kind of just some other things I want to keep you guys updated about. Uh, but in the meantime, what is this? A sleeping bag? You can actually set a home with a sleeping bag. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll just set our home over here, actually. Actually, no, we'll keep it for now. I'm not sure if I have an e-chest. I don't. But we're going to keep this for now. And then if we find a nice location for a base, we can eventually establish ourselves like a nice home and set that bed over there so that we can kind of always spawn there even if we die. So that would be kind of cool. I've never actually built a base on this server. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see that in the next episode. And like I said, the IP will be down below in the description. It's the Infected RPG Daisy server. Um, and yeah, all right, I don't think anyone's around here so far. So I think we can keep our, uh, our guard down just a little bit so we can talk about a few things. And what I have to say is that, uh, one thing is, uh, if you guys haven't noticed already, I am uh, starting a brand new Minecraft Survival Let's Play. That's something I've been really wanting to do for a while, and I've done it in the past and never been able to kind of, uh, keep the series going. So because of that, I've been determined now to keep that series going. So expect that to be uploaded, if, if anything, on a daily basis. And if you guys like that stuff, make sure you go support that series as well. And uh, if you'd like to see more Daisy, like I said, just keep supporting this series. But I have some good news. So one thing is that I am going to be bringing back my Craft and Dead roleplay. But the only bad news is I'm pretty sure I'm not going to continue Fear the Crafting Dead. Now, let's put the brakes on for a second and, and explain why I won't be continuing Fear the Crafting Dead. One reason is, one, because it's been kind of very inactive on and off for so long that it's very difficult to jump right back into everything after being inactive for such a long time. So, with that being said, I, I kind of feel like it's the best decision just to start fresh and starting a Crafting Dead roleplay from the beginning and really bringing in the characters that I've always wanted to bring in and see how that kind of works out for us. So, with that being said, it would be awesome if I could just get your support in the comment sections and see what you guys think about me um, kind of starting fresh with a Minecraft roleplay, um, like Crafting Dead. And it'll still be, instead of being like the Fear of the Crafting Dead where there's the outbreak, it's going to be starting right in the apocalypse. So I don't have to really build too much on that story because sometimes I feel like it just drags for too long. And it's very difficult to build that type of atmosphere when an apocalypse just starts. So that's one thing I've been also thinking about in the back of my head was just kind of starting the Crafting Dead roleplay um, kind of in the middle of the apocalypse, similar to how The Walking Dead started with Rick Grimes waking up from the hospital, but everything was already, like, overrun by zombies and everything like that. So that's something that's been in the back of my head, and I think it's probably the best way to go about things, and I'd like to know what you guys think about that. It's a big call for me, personally, because Fear the Crab and Dead has been so close to my heart, and it's been a series you guys all enjoyed. I swear I thought I heard a gunshot. Did I hear a gunshot? I think we're good. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of been difficult for me. So, you know, even if I brought back Fear the Craven Dead, it'll be really difficult because we've had characters on and off that's 
kind of been part of it for like two episodes and then I've been inactive because of school and all of a sudden those characters are no longer really available to help with the role play. So it's going to be making it really difficult for me to just kind of continue that. So like I said, I think it's best to start with a, a brand new uh, Craft and Dead role play. And, um, you know, I do have one more thing I would like to say about the whole Craft and Dead role play is I do need uh, characters and uh, it's very difficult to get in contact with YouTubers that are committed for it. So I'm actually going to be having a link down below in the description which you can go and apply for this role play as a character. And all it's going to require is really is for me to know what type of mic you have. And I would like to make sure that, you know, the characters do have a good mic so that everything sounds good. But also that you guys are mature enough and that will help kind of build the whole story much more smoother. So I'm looking for people that are a little bit mature, you know, and have a good mic and are available. So with that being said, the link will be down below in the description. Make sure to go apply. Applications won't be ending anytime soon. I'm going to be looking for a good amount of people because I do want to have um, a nice group formed. And I also want to actually build uh kind of develop uh, a bad person character because i kind of want to develop something not like negan but of course i want to develop not just being everything like a good people in this world so we need to kind of figure out uh what type of bad group we're going to want to do and a booking quill what could we do with a booking quill oh that's pretty sh that's pretty cool day one <laughs> day one let's let's actually just do something here don't stay in the city it's overrun and you will be dead in no time with all the zombies running this city run <laughs> there we go sign by alexton enter the book title we're gonna name it the story story of the fox or i'm gonna name it just the fox there we go sign and close bam so if anyone ever finds this book just chilling over here you guys are gonna get to see a special thing so if you ever find this and you're on this server take a screenshot of you having this book and uh tweet it to me on my twitter and i will give you a shout out because that's pretty cool if you guys can find this <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna despawn though it could despawn pretty much but if if that's the case whatever we had a little laugh there that was pretty fun all right, so uh, let's continue looking around for supplies. Okay, nothing there. But yeah, like I mentioned, the link is down below in the description. Go and check that out if you're interested in being a character for the roleplay. I'd much really appreciate that. So um, yeah, that, that's a big help if you guys can just be a part of that. And if you're not interested, not a big deal. But if you're interested in just watching the roleplay, that's also great to have the support. What does this say? This is a high school? Okay, this is a pretty small high school. Definitely not going to be too much supplies around here. And you get 10 tokens for surviving more than 10 minutes. That's awesome. Cool. We got 10 tokens. I have no idea. Uh, I believe you can use tokens to buy things. And someone did mention that they can help me out with getting me some supplies. So uh, whoever that person was, if you want to ever send me tokens or whatever it was that you had for me, just let me know in the comment sections if you're watching this current video. All right. Let's keep looking around see if there's anything else around here. Nothing. All right. No good. And there's really not too many people around us so far. So maybe the city is safe. Who knows? Let's keep looking around. So far, I haven't seen anyone. And I'm happy I haven't seen anyone yet either. So, uh, I'm just going to continue to loot around. I'm just going to continue to loot around. But uh, back about the Craft and Dead roleplay. Oh, that was my machete. I was like, just for a second, I thought someone pulled a knife on me. I was like, oh no. Uh, P99, cane, and can of spinach. All right, cool. Let's actually keep this P99 over there so we don't get that involved. Because I'm pretty sure you can only have one primary weapon in, in your uh, inventory in the first slot. So we got to make sure we keep that, that like that. Because if we're ever into a fight, we're going to be in trouble because we're not going to be able to shoot. So that's something that you guys should kind of uh, keep in mind if you're going to you know, hop on this server. But about the role play, if anything, it's going to take a little bit more than a week to get it started. I want to get a server going with maybe MC Pro hosting. They might be able to help me out with that. And once that's done, we still have the world from Fear the Crap and Dead. But we're probably going to, you know, remodel things and kind of get a fresh start. And if you guys have any ideas, if you want to be part of a staff, like, for example, if you want to be part of a build team of the Crap and Dead role play, the link will also be down, be down below for you guys to apply for the build team. And that's also something I'm looking to, you know, get some help with. I do have a good amount of people right now that I know, but it's always good to have extra build team people for the staff. And it's always good to have a good staff on on deck because that's going to help us with the role playing, um, help it pretty much 
you know get on there uh get you know get uploading that crap and dead role play that you guys really really miss so the, the faster we can get things working the better for us so hopefully things will pick up its pace in the next few uh few days all right some more canned spinach we actually do need to eat some food right now all right perfect and let's actually eat the spinach too I wonder if the gas mask actually helps us in any way. I, I feel like it's it's not really a big help, but I feel like maybe there's a reason for the gas mask. It'd be cool to find out. If any of you guys know, let me know in the comment sections. That'd be awesome. All right. Don't see anyone right now. Let's just keep looking around, though. I'd really like to get a backpack, though. And that would help us out a lot, too, because I saw some people in the spawn having a backpack, and it was really cool the way they looked. So that's something I want to get as well. I was actually thinking about it too. It'd be kind of cool to have a flashlight in this game too. I don't know why. I just feel like it'd be awesome to have a flashlight. All right. Anything here? What is this? A fridge? Oh, this is an awesome fridge. I like the 3D models they have here. All right. Anything else? Anything in here? Nothing. All right. Let's keep looking around. And it would be kind of cool to form a group on here as well. So if you guys want to be part of a group on here, that'd be something I'd be looking into. I really want to make a base. Again, like I said, I don't know if it's going to happen in today's episode or the next episode. But hopefully sometime soon we'll have ourselves a base out here. Um, all right. Anything? Anyone around here? Do I even have Slash near? No, I do not. All right. I guess we'll just have to keep looking. Last time it was much more intense because I remember we ran into so many people. But uh, there are a lot of people on the server. And Oh, is that... I swear that flag looked like there was a person over here. It's kind of funny. Okay, nothing. For a big city, it's absolutely dead. No one here. It's kind of... Oh, there is a guy right there. Oh, snap. All right, guys. The moment of truth. We're going to go do this. We found our next person. We're going to be a bandit in today's episode, though. But he was walking down this way. We're going to have to go find him. Looks like he's getting attacked. Hey, buddy. Got him. GG. All right. That, that's what I'm talking about. By the way, I, as I said, I was going to be a bandit. And uh, we just kind of creeped up on him. So, sorry, dude. Uh, you know... Sorry about that. <laughs> 56 to How many was that? Oh, 1.56. I was like, 56 tokens. That's insane. All right, we got our first person, guys. All right, let's actually uh, see what type of supplies he had on him. We're not going to need any of this stuff. That's kind of just rags. So, shout out to this dude. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> All right, let's keep... Let's actually go inside here. Oh, looks like we can't. All right, let's actually throw anything that we don't need right now with us. Uh, he didn't have too much stuff on him. Whatever. It's okay. He was probably a fresh spawn or something. All right. Oh, that's not... He's not looking too good. All right. Anyone else around here by any chance? Doesn't look like it. I don't really see anyone. I think that could have been our only uh, interaction of someone in today's episode. So, we might have to uh, wait for the next episode to find some more people. But let's eat up some more food. And I think I have enough ammo. Let's reload it just, just to be safe. Ooh, what's this about? This looks like something like something fortified here. Looks like a fire station or something. Or at least it could have been a fire station. Yeah, it is. Fire department. They definitely have some stuff here for sure. More food. Um, What else? What else? What else? Anything else here? What about here? Another booking quill. All right, let's 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 make this one. Let's just do this one. Day. Let's just... Oh, gosh. Nope. Bad, bad. Back off, dude. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write. Is anyone else around here? No. Okay. I just wait. I'm just gonna say I was here. The fox, aka aka Alexson. <laughs> Sign, and we're gonna name it again. The fox. People are just gonna find random books around here. I just got to put it in one of those um, storage units if there's any around here. There we go. In one of these. Oh, wow. People actually stored stuff in here. All right. We're going to put the fox in there. If anyone finds that, shout out to you as well. And who is this? No one that we know. All right. What's this old over here? Nothing. Oh, no. Never mind. That's nothing. Another chest. 
Small caliber bullets, don't need that. Screwdriver, don't need that. Hard hat, nah, not really. And wire cutters, we will take wire cutters, actually. Those could be useful. And there's nothing else from the top from here to go out. So, like I said, guys, this is going to be the end of today's episode. If you'd like to see more of DayZ in Minecraft, let me know in the comment sections. Obviously, you guys really did support the series. Um, we had like four episodes of it, and then I, you know, I got carried away with college, which is okay. Hopefully, you guys understand that. But like I said, I'm, I'm definitely you know, bringing this series back because I did enjoy it. It was really cool. This, this zombie's aggroed someone. Hey, zombie. Who are you aggroed to? Looked like he was aggroed to someone. I could be completely wrong. Well, alrighty. Looks like there's no one else around here. So we're going to call it a day. Thanks again for watching. If you guys would like to see more, hit that like button. Peace out. And I just heard a shot. We're fine. Don't worry. We'll survive this one. See you guys next time. And stay foxy.